Hey there, people of the internet! My name is Savannah, and welcome to my studio. Guys, it's Halloween. You know what that means. It's time for more Pokefusions. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. But it is Pokemon related, as you can see by the thumbnail. This is my 99th video, so I drew the 99th Pokemon, Kingler, but with a spooky twist. So hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already, and now let's just get into the drawing. I think a big fear of the water and a fear of the ocean is a fear of the unknown, because it's dark down there. We don't know what lives there. It's curious. It's not natural to us. We live on the surface, in a dry world, in a bright world, but down in the deepest, darkest depths of the ocean, there is no light, and we don't know what could be living down there. But many have had their speculations, and some scientists have even found proof of things that live down there. But we haven't explored all of it yet. We don't know the true horrors that lie within our own oceans. Even I could never have imagined something so amazing and otherworldly to be so close, yet still out of reach. It wasn't until that fateful stormy night that I began to believe that gods exist. That these legends of a crab god that would one day flood the world was actually true. There were many cultists in the village I grew up in. They believed in this behemoth that lived beneath, that he would one day rise up, awaken, and come to flood the world, turning all of its inhabitants into crabs themselves. The Great Carcinization, they called it. An evolutionary phenomenon where non-crab crustaceans evolve a crab-like body plan. It has also been described as the many attempts of nature to evolve a crab. Now, this may seem like a silly notion, but it is scientific fact that animals just keep evolving to become more crab-like. I used to think this was silly too, until I saw it. It was a mist-filled stormy night. Thunder rolled as the waves lapped against the cliffside. The cultists who had augmented themselves with rituals were chanting, calling something forth out of the water. I felt the rumble of the earth as the massive claws and crown breached the surface. I saw the glee and insanity in the eyes of the cultists just before he was swallowed by the waves. They knew what was coming, and they reveled in it. They had already been using these dark rituals to augment their bodies, giving themselves claws, armored shells, and even eye stalks. Madness had overtaken them. They believed this was a blessing, a way for them to ascend to a higher state of existence. While everyone else was scared, they believed that the god from the depths would flood the world and kill everyone in it. In a way, they were both right, but no one could have anticipated the sheer horror brought from the abyss. It wasn't just its enormous size, or the fact that it drowned its own subjects. It was the look in its eyes, if you could see an expression on a crab's face. A look of indifference. It had just woken up and we were in its way. It didn't care if it killed us. It didn't care that they were worshipping it. It didn't care that it was a god among men. It was just an animal doing what it needed to do. And somehow that's almost scarier. It made tidal waves as it walked toward the shore and crushed its worshippers. Kingler, I think they called it. The king of all king crabs. The creator of all crab beings. The one who began the carcinization. But there would be no carcinization for mankind today. This was to be the end of the world as we knew it. Believers or not, we were all cattle for the king and his subjects, as the crabs soon took over the earth. It had massive, spiked jaws and a crown of barbs atop its skull, and one enormous claw that looked like it could split the moon in half. I had always been wary of deep water, of dark water. They woke up a sleeping god just for it to end their lives. What hubris mankind has. Maybe after a few hundred years of evolving, if there are any humans left, we too can become crab. When the world becomes flooded, we will rejoice in the great crustacean uprising and praise our lord and savior, the great Kinkler. Thank you all so much for watching. I know this is kind of a mood change now. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, happy Halloween. Praise Kingler. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell, all of that. And stay tuned for my 100th video that's coming up next time in a couple weeks, and it's gonna be super cool, and I'm really excited. As always, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.